I think there's just so much competition now, like, um, like internationally there's competition because everyone competing for jobs, I think that's probably an issue. I think it depends on the individual, so um, some aspects is up to the individual themselves to get out there, get a job, be motivated, but then there's things that the government can do and parents can do and schools can do in order to be better enable students to get the right employment and get the right work experience opportunities. I think a large portion of the lane can go to the youth themselves. Um, there are jobs out there if you look hard enough. Uh, and whilst it might not be the ideal job for everyone, uh, if beggars can't be choosers, so to speak, I think if you get yourself into a job, you're more likely to move to better things later in life. I think the first thing is educating people about what opportunities there are out there. So um, going to universities, giving universities information about what companies are willing to recruit students or get students to come onto their work experience programmes. Um, also enabling students who don't have the money or the funds to go on work experience, giving them like a bursary or grant. So it bridges the gap between those students who can't get work experience due to monetary issues. Well, one thing that I'm personally quite passionate about is getting rid of uh, unpaid internships because it's just unfair to people who can't afford to basically pay for an internship. So I think everyone should make at least uh, the minimum wage. And I think um, for people who didn't attend at university, it should be made a lot more easy to get um, sort of entry level jobs. percent certain that I'm not going to get the job I want. Um, I'm just going to have to take whatever is available. I'm not particularly confident in getting the job that I want. I'm confident in getting a job, but I think it'll take a couple of years to um, progress into kind of my ideal career just from lack of um, employment in that area. Um, and I think it's going to take time to work up into it. I'm lucky in the sense that I, I have already got a job lined up for my graduation. Um, so I managed to get that through a lot of applications and, and uh, a lot of persistence. So I, I, I do think I'm lucky, but I, I have got a job. I think the number one thing will be work experience. So actually going into the business that you're planning to working, that would really open your eyes into what you want to do and whether it's right for you. I think the more, uh, more proactive approach when uh, students are in college and at school uh, would be helpful in terms of uh, writing CVs and, and making applications for jobs. Uh, while school focuses a lot on education, they don't prepare people for the, the writing and the, the question answering skills that people really do need to get jobs. I think if teaching at universities was a lot better, I think uh, if we were actually being taught skills, if we were being taught to think critically rather than just ramming the curriculum down our throats, I think that would do a lot to make us more confident and more able to succeed. I think definitely education in professional fields because at university and school I've only been educated in academic side and not actually practical side. Things like interviews and talking to clients and things like that I have no experience of whatsoever, so definitely that side.